What's going on everybody? It's your boy, Isaac Parks, also known as Isaac Punts, and today we've got a bit of an experiment. I love experimenting, and I finally got my hands on a new ball to kick with today. So we're testing out what is the most accurate ball to kick. Starting off, first ball, we've got the king of American football, the Wilson Duke NFL officially licensed ball. Obviously the one that I'm the most comfortable with, okay? And we're gonna start off down 35 yard line, Get that ball ready to go. Ball number two. We've got a crowd favorite, the Sharon. Official Queensland kangaroo brand Sharon AFL ball. Let me see anything else I can say about it. It's made in Australia, genuine leather. So this one, a little bit rounder, a little bit bigger, should be easier to kick. So going to the 35. And then last but not least, the final ball, the official rugby ball of Notre Dame College. Okay, I kick with one of my buddies, Kyle. Big shout out to Kyle Matern here for locking in this rugby ball for me. And we're gonna kick it and uh, see how it holds up compared to the other two. I've had a lot of experience uh, now with the Sharon and that Duke, of course. So I'm excited to see how the Notre Dame rugby ball holds up. Let's get it into the corner with the other ones. We're gonna do a pretty simple test, okay? We're gonna go right, middle, left. From the 35 to the 40 to the 35. Okay, so it kind of rounds, so that makes sense. Uh, Droppy, right? And then we're gonna go right, middle, left hitting the barrel, torping it, spiraling it, seeing which one's the most accurate. Let's just get right to it then. Okay, so starting off first, we're gonna go with the Duke. Obviously the ball I'm the most comfortable with, so let's see how well on a drop punt we can get this through. Pretty easy little strike right there, pretty much right down the center. Now let's figure out on the Sharon. See if I can't get better rotation. That one kind of helicoptered on me or banana I want to get that thing straight up and down. Oh, I that way. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that might have just barely been through, but probably not. Now we're gonna see about Notre Dame. Rugby ball, this one is just so big, it's, it's kind of hard to figure out where I want to hit. I guess I'm just gonna aim right through the laces, or right through the seam. Huh. Okay, well I missed on that one, obviously. So right now we've got one for the Duke, one for the Sharon. We'll count it as one right now, because I'm pretty sure that actually was right over the upright, and then none for the rugby ball. Let's go. Now that we're in the middle of the field, we're gonna change up the order. We're going Sharon first. I'm gonna have a little bit of a lead up here so that way I can focus more on just contact. That's enough for Oh, it was short. <laughs> now I will say this. Obviously, I'm not intensely trying to be biased towards the NFL ball. I have a much higher level of comfort with the NFL ball. I've been kicking balls like this. Going on 12 years. 12 years this year. Over a decade. These other ones are a little bit newer, so it's like, Little things I'm figuring out. Okay. Oh, me, I can't pick that one. <laughs> I had the distance, though. I'll tell you what. If I would have hit it, I would have smoked that ball. All right, finally, the NFL ball. The level of comfort here, I could almost do this with my eyes closed. <laughs> oh, I hooked it too. Didn't make any of them, but as far as accuracy is concerned, the most accurate one was. The AFL ball. So I'll give one point to the AFL, no points to the other two because I hooked both of them. Now, for the last round, we're going to start off with the rugby ball just to make sure that I've given everybody a fair shot and they don't have any like recency bias. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going from the right side trying to kick left. So we'll see. I'm noticing I'm hooking them. I'm going to try to go a little right and hook it back left. I'll tell you what. That was the purest. <laughs> I that one. It was directly to the right. Thought I was gonna hook a little bit more. Let's see what we got here. That uh, did not go according to plan. Legend has it this is the this is the premier ball for punting. So, you know. Once again, the most accurate. Oh, and she's down the middle. Well, down slightly to the left. Okay, so now we're gonna play back into my wheelhouse because I'm not the best drop punt hitter. So we're gonna go back to the torps. I'm just gonna do two rounds of torps from various distances because you don't pull out the torp from mid-range like this. We're gonna see if we can send one of these suckers. So we're back to the top with the Duke here. We're gonna be going just torps. Okay, down the middle, accuracy, obviously, and power. Seeing which ball you can get the best distance and accuracy on. That was an ugly hit. I don't know, I did everything wrong on that. I might redo that one, because that's, uh, that's actually not how I point. Now I've got a sinking feeling. We're at about 55 yards. I got a feeling that this ball right here, not gonna go the best for distance. Oh, she's trying, oh, she is. <laughs> no shot, no shot on that. 
torp up the Karen a little bit. The Karen? That's that's getting cut immediately. We're torping up the Sharon. Let's see what we got here. Get in there. Look, even that. Accuracy-wise, I missed. I suck. Accuracy-wise, way closer. I didn't even I feel like I hit it just as equally, not clean as the Duke. Still not bad. Now, I'm back to the top one more time. We're from the 50. I'm gonna take a 60 yard kick off the fly, off my foot, to get to the uprights. All the distance, none of the accuracy. <laughs> the Duke is known for doing that, coming off the foot a little bit too far to the right. Oh, dude, I could not kick that ball whatsoever. Maybe it's not as hard to kick as I'm making it seem to be. But I think we've got a pretty good winner from downtown. All right, I think that was still short by a couple yards, but accuracy wise, without a doubt, most accurate ball, the ball that no matter what, always went the direction I was trying to kick it, the Sharon. I'm not gonna lie. I thought coming into this, the Duke was gonna win or the rugby ball was gonna win. Uh, but the rugby ball is just so round. It's kind of hard to control for me specifically. I'm sure rugby players are looking at me like I'm a freaking idiot and that's okay because I don't know how to kick a rugby ball consistently for anything. The Duke is just, it's the smallest, it's the pointiest. I thought, you know, aim small, miss small is gonna make me more precise. The Sharon's a little bit bigger. It's just the perfect sweet spot between the two. Okay, so thanks for coming on this journey with me. Now we know the Sharon's the best. Hope you guys had an amazing day. Peace.